Well, with Hurricane Matthew's path still to be determined, people near Jacksonville Beach are taking no chances and stocking up on groceries just in case. Channel 4's Nicole Snyder joins us in the studio with what they're doing to prepare. Nicole? Ethan, residents at Jack's Beach say because Matthew is so strong, they don't want to be caught off guard. Many say they have a plan, while others say they're waiting to see which way this storm turns. We went to Target on Beach Boulevard, and people we spoke with say they're already getting stocked up on supplies. Today, the governor released a statement urging everyone to have an emergency plan and monitor weather updates closely. That I followed the news, and we kind of prepared for it. Um, I wasn't that concerned about it. Uh, but this one got my attention a little bit more. Jamaicans are also making preparations. Many have begun boarding up their windows and stocking up on food. The storm still a couple hundred miles offshore. As of Saturday evening, the waves had picked up along the country's coast as leaders prepared for the worst. The resilience of Jamaicans will be demonstrated at the end of, the, of this episode. And I'm hoping that when it comes, it will not be in a category that will have any real devastating effect on, on, on the people of Jamaica. Here locally, emergency officials in all 67 counties in Florida will have daily conference calls as we continue tracking Matthew. Ethan? Thanks, Nicole. And don't forget, when we're off the air, we are still tracking Matthew Download our free Hurricane Tracker app and turn on push alerts for instant updates. Just search WJXT.